Hi, my name is Jana Elvin and I am doing my presentation on Ivan Illich. Ivan Illich was born September 4th, 1926. He traveled the world extensively throughout his lifetime and saw much of the 20th century unfold. He became most recognized in the 1970s for many of his published works, one of the main books being Deschooling Society, which talked about his ideas of taking away school as an institution together, uh, altogether. Some of the main reasons being concern, uh, him being concerned with what many people thought about what a real education was or what a real learned person looks like. He was also concerned about the less technologically developed countries being exploited. And he was also concerned that schools were operating in a way that were counterintuitive to its original purpose. So he, Illich saw this trend that schools were turning learning into a thing rather than a natural process. Uh, he points out that the process of learning uh, was becoming a thing to be acquired rather than just a part of being. And for example, we don't need to go to walking school to learn how to walk, and that was his point. Uh, with school turning into a commodity, prepackaged information comes with that, which he saw as materialistic, consume, um, it promoted consumerism, and it was very profit-driven. And so he saw the, um, that this trend was contributing to the exploitation of these less technologically developed countries. And if, if school can change that, the, this problem would also be helped immensely. And he also saw those who were self-learned or alternatively learned somehow uh, to be in a position to be discriminated against. So it's important to point out that Illich did not opposed to school altogether. He went to school himself. He just saw school crossing this line or this threshold that that were it just no longer was doing what it was supposed to be doing. And what Illich thought school was supposed to be doing is uh, teaching relevant information. So it could be best summed up in his interesting idea that instead of television installation, we should hand out everyone tape recorders. Uh, his reasoning behind this is that television transmits information to you that d had more to do with market-driven, profit-driven, consumerist ideas, whereas tape recorders, people in the community could record what they know, take it to the library, and have accessible knowledge for anyone who wants to know something. Which leads me to my criticism in that he was such a worldly traveler that he had a lot to offer. So the people who also want more worldly knowledge, which is based on individuals' interest, um, that he would have a lot to offer. And I think that school institutions have a lot to offer in those resources. So someone like me who would want to know more about the world really appreciates the resources that formal institutions have to give. Uh, another outside criticism, a main one of his, was that his ideas were not applicable to real life. Like if we took away schools altogether, what would that look like and how do we do that? Uh, so what his impact, I think, was really subtle in that he, his ideas more just resonated with other philosophers like Paulo Freire and yeah, his friends and fellow philosophers, he, his ideas just resonated with them and, and to other philosophers who had more of a direct impact on education. But I also see him all of a sudden having this impact on postmodern philosophy because postmodern philosophy is all about deconstruction, deconstructivism, which is what many of Illich's ideas are all about. And he, I think... Instead of doing away with school altogether, I think Illich would really agree with helping schools get back to their main purpose through this deconstructivism, taking apart what we're learning and why we're learning what we're learning and why it was chosen for us to learn to make it more relevant to us. So.
thank you. That is much as I could sum up in five minutes about Ivan Illich. And have a good day.